Legends are going to be revving, you know, their racing capital of the world. Again, like you said, the stands will be silent, but we'll be there in spirit. We'll have memories and we'll have hopes for the future while we enjoy the race on TV. Empty stands for this year's race is leaving transportation mm. companies and their employees at something of a loss. The one, the only, Darius Johnson joining us live this morning from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway with more on the economic impact. Darius, good morning, friend. Good morning, Ray and Ange. First, I'm so happy to be with you guys this morning. And you all are right. So many memories to be made this time around with so many things being different. You know, we've been here covering everything from day one, from the point when they started with 50% fan capacity to 25% fan capacity, to then getting to the point to scrap that idea and not allow fans inside at all. Now, for hire vehicle companies like Uber and then scooter companies as well. Many of them have seen a lag in service and with no fans being here on race day, they're all going to take a major blow on what's one of the biggest and busiest days right here in the Circle City. Is it August yet? 33 cars, 200 laps, 500 miles and grandstands with no fans. I've waited a year and three months to hear 230 miles an hour, and I absolutely love it. I knew I couldn't get inside this year, but I had to come anyway. That's what many, including Pete Weyenberg from Wisconsin, are doing just to get a feeling of race weekend. Right here is just fine. I get to hear the cars. I can smell it. Without the 300,000 fans flocking to the motor speedway, some companies are taking a punch to the gut. Overall number of rides are down but with the rides being longer, we're actually seeing better utilization. Lime Scooters tells us they just reached their millionth ride, which was delayed by COVID-19. They say last year's 500 was a breadwinner and one of their busiest days. That's not the case this time around. Safety's number one, so we recognize why there aren't fans around. Meanwhile, Uber drivers are scarce and on the come up. Since I've been driving, I'm actually making more money than I typically do. Um, I think there are less drivers out, and so the demand's higher. Many drivers stopped operating operating weary of passengers due to the virus. I can't even like start picking up passengers until I prove I have a mask on. Although the loss to fans is devastating, the millions in economic loss is also crippling, while everyone takes the necessary precautions to keep people safe. This thoughtful decision will ensure the health of the event moving forward. And so we commend the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for making this tough decision. <laughs> You just got to love the sound of those engines revving. I wish I could hear them this morning. You'd see me jumping up and down like a big kid. But anyway, you know, it's quiet here at the track this morning, but we know later on today, many of those fans will line the gates just to cling on to them to see what's happening right here at the Motor Speedway. And hey, Ray and Angela, I'm hoping that I can get you guys out here within the next couple of days so we can have some fun. I'll send it back to you two in the studio. Darius, great job. Thank you, sir. President